Hi, I'm Shane Close, a design leader with over 20 years of experience in the field of user-centered research and design. I'd like to quickly share a recipe for a successful future in user-centered agile development. We've come a long way in the last 20 years, and through a lot of trial and error, we now know the ingredients necessary for UX and Agile to work together successfully. But that wasn't always the case, as Agile and UX were both struggling to gain acceptance around the same time, and neither were well understood or implemented. However, when these two philosophies are combined with the right ingredients, teams can produce amazing and measurable results. Let's take a look at the ingredients necessary to ensure successful user-centered Agile development. The primary ingredient necessary for a healthy combination of Agile and UX is support. UX has to be understood, valued, and integrated all the way from the client and the company leadership down to the cross-functional team level. A lack of support, especially at the client level, can cause lasting and sometimes irrevocable damage to a program. There are a few things that we can do to improve support, including educating the client and others to the process, need, and value of user-centered design. Sometimes people just don't understand UX and simply need a little education, guidance, and exposure. Communication is essential to build trust and support. Sharing information from research findings, user test outcomes, and metrics from analytics help to align priorities and promote knowledge sharing across teams and with the client. Transparency is key, and constant communication is vital to build that support. Increasing the visibility into research and design activities is another great way to improve support from all levels. Oftentimes, UX teams have a mountain of data and design assets that are never seen by stakeholders and team members. Socializing research data and exposing the design artifacts behind a solution is a great way to gain trust and support. Which leads into the next important ingredient, UX team maturity and leadership. There's an all too common myth that just by adding UX members, to a project, it will somehow magically improve the product or service. In reality, going through the motions of research and design will not guarantee improved outcomes. In fact, similar to Agile, many companies have had bad experiences with poorly executed user-centered design. This is why UX team maturity and leadership is a vital ingredient to ensure user-centered Agile development is successful. A UX team must exude leadership, help guide prioritization and implementation through sound research and validated design solutions. The third critical ingredient in a successful marriage of Agile and UX is collaboration. Now collaboration is part of the previous two ingredients as it is needed to gain support and is vital to UX team maturity. However, it does warrant being included as its own talking point due to just how important it is to a team's success in an Agile environment. Author Matt Ridley gave a TED talk on the subject of shared ideas mating and forming new, better ideas, which he argues is the engine behind human progress. This is no different on modern cross-functional teams as their collaboration and sharing of ideas produce better, sometimes unexpected outcomes. One of the most essential collaborative relationships in a modern user-centered agile development is that between the product manager or product owner and UX professionals. There's actually a great deal of overlap between product management and UX. This relationship is also critical to allow for proper lead time in user-centered agile development, as the product manager will play a pivotal role in going to bat for research and design activities, while also benefiting from the informed decision-making they get from that same research. Last but not least, agile must be flexible. One of the guiding principles of Agile was to help teams adapt to change and move with more fluidity and less chaos. Methodologies or frameworks like Scrum or SAFE, however, were not constructed with research and design in mind. The problem is, when these frameworks become dogmatic and inflexible, used as tools to produce greater output faster rather than produce better products, features, and outcomes, teams become no more than feature factories. What we don't build is just as important as what we do build. If research and testing fail to validate a direction or hypothesis, we need the flexibility to pivot, adjust, correct, and realign priorities. In closing, in order for UX and Agile to work well together, and for user-centered Agile development to be successful, in the words of my friend and Agile guru, Toby Rao, 
We must be agile rather than do agile. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the presentations.